<laughs> I guess I'll start with this. I asked Murph this as well. So if you could describe this season in one word, what would that word be? I think the first word that came to my mind was kind of chaotic. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, it was kind of a lot, you know. Um, I think that we obviously dealt with it um, the best that we could. And um, as the season went on, we you know, grew and we figured it out, but it was kind of a lot, you know, with a lot of different aspects and stuff, so. Uh, so, with, with that being said, how did you guys figure it out? What what do you think of maybe some of those moments or steps that it required um, for you guys to come <coughs> together and kind of stay organized? What, what comes to mind? Yeah, um, I don't know. I think, like, no matter what, I think as a team, we always, like, st stuck together. I think that as a whole, um, we did a really good job of having each other's backs no matter what. I think that we did a really great job only focusing on what we could control as players and not um, worrying so much about the staff or what was going on. Um, but yeah, I think overall, like this is such a great, this was such a great team. Um, um, and the girls were all, you know, united, so. Um, and then as, as you kind of think of, of this season with the changes, bringing Jimmy in mm -hmm. uh, as the new head coach, um, the team started scoring a lot more goals. Yes. Um, and as an offensive player, what was that like to kind of go through that change? And, and do you feel like going forward you're in a better position to hopefully have a bigger impact on the offensive side of the ball? Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, it was super nice when Jimmy came in. I think that we just um, – I think he just changed our focus a bit, um, what we were doing in practice. I think that uh, he adapted to us and what we needed. Um, so, yeah, in turn we were doing better offensively. Um, and yeah, that makes me excited moving forward. Uh, I think Jimmy's a great coach, and I think that, um, yeah, he's already taught me a lot in the short time he's been here, and I know that other girls feel the same way. Any specifics about kind of what what he what he's taught you, or what maybe stands out? Um, I don't know. I, I think something that stands out. He's just very uh, encouraging going to goal. Um, he's always encouraging us in practice to go take people on or to take that shot. Um, He's never once gotten mad at anyone for taking a shot, maybe that they shouldn't have, right. you know. Um, so then it makes you more comfortable um, when you're playing to just, you know, always be looking for those opportunities. Cam, hello. Um, Hi. So staying local, I'm always interested in the kind of the human interest type pieces. So mm -hmm. staying local in the off season, what are your plans? What are you looking forward to doing? Yeah, um, I'll be here. <coughs> Um, obviously I, I live here, so okay. I'll be staying here. Um, I have some fun trips planned, um, to take a little break from soccer. Um, but yeah, I'll be here. I'll probably be training here. I also train, there's like a guy up in Salt Lake City to go to and train. So, so yeah. And then, uh, yeah, I was going to ask on training is since I'm, totally unaware of how this all works it's yeah. completely player driven where you go who you meet with is there cost that you just have to foot does the organization foot some of that it, I don't know this gray area of off season how does that work yeah um yeah it's pretty much up to us obviously like if we're local I think they would prefer for us to come here and be here as much as possible um obviously it's they can't make us do anything in the off season but yeah so players get to choose where they go where they get to spend their off season um with like the cost wise um I'm not really sure I think that's something we're still working out here as it's a new team and this is our first time doing it um in years past um the team has paid for gym memberships for people um with the teams I've been on um yeah so I'm not really sure here a lot of people though it's nice like they we have like hookups and stuff and we know people so a lot of people fortunately don't even have to pay anything um, they just kind of go back to where they're from and there's someone there to help them so but as you do train thank you for sharing that and maybe that was the dumbest question that you'll hear today but, <laughs> but as you do train and since it is a lot of it individual in the off season what are the things that you want to improve for and what do you look forward to in 2025 in terms of your individual game what do you hope to bring yeah um, I think that for me I just want to keep working on going to goal I think that um, this year, obviously, we struggled scoring and offensively, and I think that um, personally, I would love to like just work on my one v one ability, especially playing out wide and um, going to goal. So, well, if you continue to work on it and you score more of the bangers like you did, <laughs> uh, I believe it was midsummer, right? Yeah. Yeah, that was a beautiful goal. So thank you. 
We we look forward to it in 2025. Thanks. Go go of the year for sure. I got my vote. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I got my vote. What, what do, you, do you feel like this club, competitively, organizationally, um, strategically, like all of that stuff on the field and maybe even a little bit off the field when you're talking about things like off-season training and pre-season training, that kind of mm -hmm. thing, do you feel like it's in a better place than when you came in here as it was – a little helter skelter let's be real kind of a little haphazard at times kind of mm -hmm. uh i think trey used the term building the plane or flying the plane while while you were trying to build it do you feel like you guys are in a better place right now going into 2025 then yeah for sure i mean starting a new organization there's it's obviously going to be pretty crazy um there's a lot of moving pl like pieces to it um so yeah i feel like I, even as this this year has just gone on like it's always it just felt more and more like it's coming together um, so I feel like moving forward, even like right now, um, it's feeling more like my other teams did, you know, where you kind of, these people are here, you know what they're doing, you know what they're here for, like you can go to them, you know what I mean? Like it's just more, I don't even know the word, like comfortable maybe, yeah. like you just like, it's feeling more like settled, yeah. if that makes sense. How soon does preseason start for you? Do you, I mean, do you have like a set amount of time that you like to take off, maybe go to Europe or something like that? gap year type of mentality or, or do you have like a, a time where you're like okay preseason starts x um i mean i'll take like probably like a week or two off um just to rest my body for a little bit sure. and then i'll slowly work back into it maybe i like to do um is the word like cross i don't remember the word like cross training, cross -training? like yeah. i like to do things like that like i love to do um yoga um i love to cycle mm -hmm. um so it's not as hard on my body, but still working out. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Cam. Thank you. <laughs>